now we talk about the sexual reproduction which is more advantageous and uh, which is present in uh, more higher forms of life sexual reproduction is uh, the process which involve two organisms one is typically called a male and other is typically called a female and uh, there is an involvement of specific cells called gametes gametes are the specific cells which are uh, produced by division in a specific types of cell in the body called germ cells all the cells of the body uh, other than germ cells are called uh, the autosomal cells and these cells do not have capability to make gametes gametes could be formed only by specific kind of cell specific line of cells called the germ cells these cells typically divide by the process of meiosis into two cells called gamete gametes are male and female either whether they are male or female they divide by meiosis and they have a half no half a number of chromosome we call it haploid number of chromosome that is also called sometimes n number of chromosomes because meiosis we call it a reduction division it divides uh, a cell in a way that its chromosomes become half uh, and one cell divides into ultimately four cells um, each with a half number of chromosomes with a haploid set of chromosomes in it meiosis also have another capability that in the first phase of meiosis genetic recombination takes place in the uh, dividing cell this genetic recombination even actually add uh, more value to the sexual reproduction so sexual reproduction takes place in uh, more higher forms of life which have which are better adapted to their environments now we talk about sexual reproduction in flowering plants plants that makes flowers flowering plants are the more advanced forms or uh, more developed form of uh, the plants flowering plants actually have their uh, reproductive uh, parts as flowers flowers have the reproductive parts of the plants flowers have male and female both parts in the same flower you can see in the diagram above that one flower showing the male parts called stamen and uh, the female part in um, the other uh, flower which is showing the female parts called the carpels so stamen is the male part of the flower and carpel is the female part of the flower both of these exist in the same flower we actually to show them separately removed one from each flower then how sexual reproduction occur these both of these parts they produces the gametes called sperms and the ova in the stamen and in the carpel then fertilization occur with the help of a process called pollination the transfer of pollen grains which have the male gametes from anther of a stamen anther is a part which actually retains the pollen grains which are the male gametes from the stamen and uh, pollen grains are transferred from the stamen to the carpel which is the female part and from the top of the carpel they are uh, these pollen grains they move towards the ovary which have uh, ova that is the female gametes so the fertilization um, occur after pollination pollination is a very important uh, phenomena in uh, in the flowering plants there are two types of pollinations one is called self pollination and other is called a cross pollination so the self pollination is the transfer of pollen grains from stamen of a plant to the carpel of the same plant and cross pollination is the transfer of pollen grains from uh, the flower of one plant to the carpel of another plant uh, cross pollination have an advantage because uh, the two plants they are different though they are from same species but because the plants are different uh, their characteristics um, may change there may be some uh, some modifications because there is a combination of characteristics um, cross pollination occur with the help of uh, sometimes wind 
that is uh, the uh, pollen grains are transferred by wind from one plant to another plant sometimes it occur by animals when animals feed upon uh, some part of the uh, plant they have to sit on the plant and when they sit on these the pollen grains they attaches to their body surface and when they sit on another plant the pollen pollen grains are transferred sometimes these are also transferred by water when the fertilization takes place uh, then the zygote is formed um, by the joining of male and female gametes zygote is formed zygote develops into embryo this embryo um, have certain protective and uh, uh, some other layers particularly two specific leaves or maybe sometimes one leaf which are called cotyledons which provides food for the uh, growing embryo and uh, this uh, this this whole combination of this cotyledon um, the embryo and the coat is called seed we commonly call it a seed when the seed is formed then the ovary is converted into a fruit that is ovary's wall become fleshy and scaly sometimes scaly sometimes fleshy and it is filled with different types of materials and we call it a fruit when we know that usually when we eat different types of fruits like citrus fruit or something else we have seeds uh, packed inside the fruit when we eat these fruits or when when the animals uh, eat these fruit uh, they actually throw away those seeds on various places this is how uh, these plants are also distributed uh, to different areas because animals if for example they have eaten a fruit they may throw seeds far away from the same plant and those seeds will grow into a newer plant so this is a, also a method of dispersal of these plants uh, which helps them um, in their uh, say getting more distributed in uh, wider areas the floral parts however sepals petals they fall away from this uh, ripened ovary or the leaf in a picture taken here of the hibiscus flower you can see its uh, flowering parts its anthers upon a stamen which are exposed outside in the picture next to it you can see fruits of a wild plant in brown color 